Hey, it's Tom Morello, and you're watching Heavy Consequence on Consequence of Sound. So you released the Atlas Underground album uh, last year, mm -hmm. and uh, quite an ambitious, eclectic album. Uh, can you talk about the inspiration? Between sure. Uh, I wanted to make a record that was a sonic conspiracy, taking artists of uh, different genre and making a guitar record for 2019. The idea is like it would be kind of like a Trojan horse where to inflict my guitar vision on a new generation by working with artists from Gary Clark Jr. Uh, to Tim McElrath from Rise Against to Rizza and Jizza from the Wu-Tang Clan to Marcus Mumford, Bass Necker. Like it was a, a wide variety of artists, but I curated an experience that was supposed to be, that is meant to be like a guitar statement for a new, for a new age. Cool. And uh, last summer, unfortunately, uh M Shadows from Avenge had yes. some vocal issues and the Prophets of Rage were yes. supposed to go out. And it's been relatively quiet in the Prophets of Rage yeah, yeah, world yeah, since yeah. then. I know you guys got some dates coming up, I think, in Europe. Yeah. Uh, what can you tell me uh, as far as Prophets uh, in terms of kind of kicking, kickstarting it again? Some sure, new music sure. We've been, we've been working on new music and hopefully there will be new music out before, maybe even before the end of the summer. Uh, we're doing a, a big European festival run and right now, Be Real had a Cypress record out, Chuck had a record out, I've got a record out, so we're all sort of, but it's like the Avengers. We all come together, you know, for the uh, Infinity War. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And uh, you've obviously been outspoken uh, politically and socially over the years. Um, right now we have 24 candidates, uh, Democratic candidates for president. Is there anyone that's standing out to you that can, that maybe speaks to you or you think can just give uh, Trump a good run for his money? I think uh, there's not, there are no candidates that are metal enough for me yet. <laughs> I'm still waiting for, <laughs> still waiting for a good metal candidate to enter the fold. I've always looked at it like, like I think it's very important, yeah. the right to vote is very important, it's very important to vote, but my activism has always been kind of from the, from the ground up, not from the bottom down. And I think the sort of the grassroots work to fight for uh, justice and humanity on a daily basis. We work, like I work with the ACLU, I work with a lot of like unions, I work with a lot of like grassroots organizations that do daily, no matter who's in office, they're working hard to make a, a more decent country. Cool. And uh, this November marks the 20th anniversary of the Battle of Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Great Rage Against the Machine album. Just quickly, I know we're short on time, but uh, can you just kind of share your memories of like just recording and releasing that album? Sure, that record was brutal to make. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't called the Battle of Los Angeles for nothing, uh, but it was, you know, for, for, it was the band's last studio record of original songs, and it was, you know, it was Spin Magazine's, Rolling Stone Magazine's, Time Magazine's album of the year, so if you're gonna go out, that's a pretty good way to go out. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, given the political climate, given the Trump administration, I think, you know, people would love to see, obviously, Rage back on stage doing their thing. Does that ever cross your mind, like the impact that Rage can make uh, during this time when I mean, Trump's in what, office? What crosses my mind on each and every day and each and every <laughs> stage to do my part. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's what I could, that's what I have control over, to do my part. And I would say, rather than people waiting around for Rage Against the Machine, form your own band. Form your band. Let's hear what you have to say. Get out there and do it. Don't sit around twiddling your thumbs waiting for a, uh, some other band to do it. Like, like, like. When we formed Rage Against the Machine, we never thought we'd be able to book a gig or make a record or play a festival in Ohio. You sitting at home right now, if you've got ideas in your head, pick up an instrument or turntables or Ableton or whatever, and let's hear what you've got to say.